What's up guys? So today I have a huge story to share with you. So the new Microsoft Windows 11 has an update coming that's going to make a default setting to actually capture every single thing you do on your Windows computer. I mean, does it get any better than this? I mean, I, we know the push to AI, you know, there's a real hype team out there trying to promote everything AI. And it looks like Microsoft is taking the reins in forcing everyone to be utilizing this AI technology, which at its fundamental level is a surveillance technology. That is what AI is. It is a way to get surveillance into everything by requiring the collection of data you are actually integrating surveillance into everything so when you see AI remember it's probably collecting data so this is a huge nightmare as it says in the title uh, what it actually is going to do and this is going to be enabled by default it's going to take screenshots of everything you do every website you browse every single password you type if it's not shadowed if it's not asterisked out and even if it is asterisked out it shows the amount of characters now let's go ahead and take a look at what Microsoft has to say about this so this is the Windows Microsoft CEO and let's hear what they have to say about this great new feature it's gonna be great for anyone except if you care about your privacy So it's called recall. It's not keyword search, right? It's semantic search over all your history. And it's not just about any document. We can recreate moments from the past, essentially. Here's how it works. Windows constantly takes screenshots of what's on your screen, then uses a generative AI model right on the device, along with the NPU, to process all that data and make it searchable, even photos. I got to try it out. I searched. in visual search there's no place on this page that it says brown leather bag it just knows because it sees this brown leather bag there could be this reaction from some people that this is pretty creepy yes it's very creepy and even though they say it's only going to be done locally on your machine which is why they have these major requirements for your hardware it's also going to drain your battery life I mean how could it not we're going to be performing these major operations to search through the history of everything that you have done on your computer and while they say it's going to be done locally we know how these things go we know that this could be a perfect system to implement and turn it into something like a protect the children uh, mass surveillance move. So it could actually in the future get an update that allows it to search for certain types of content which could turn out to be something political even. You don't know who's going to be in control in the future. You can't predict this. So if a totalitarian state were in control this would be a dream come true. And when you look at the partnerships, you can sort of see who is close to the surveillance net, we'll say. If you just look at the earliest partnerships in mass surveillance, well, who happens to be that first partner in a lot of things, including things like Prism? Well, it's Microsoft. So I do not have a lot of faith in this. Uh, we see that they want to take screenshots of everything you're doing constantly. I mean, you will have no privacy whatsoever with this if it gets out. And what could be more tempting than something that's already acting like a complete monitoring device? This is going to be something I can see businesses having interests in getting access to. So if you're doing work on a work computer, I would not doubt if in the future this kind of Windows recall turns on the user and reports whatever activity an employee is doing on their computer. Um, this is all hypothetical, but I mean, how could it not be tempting? I mean, we look at this kind of feature. Is it really necessary? I would say not really. I mean, come on, are you just lazy? I mean, my thought in AI and what 
AI is going to do to the future. It's actually going to change the way you think by integrating it into every segment of life. It is giving you the answers to everything you ask. And with that kind of access to you individually, they can shape your thoughts. Everything that we think right now is at a fundamental language based on the language we learned from birth. And from there on, all of the knowledge we collect along the way, when you consider that AI is delivering content, AI can be shaped to deliver you anything. It could be shaped to brainwash you. It could be shaped for political goals. It could be shaped for all kinds of activism, all kinds of mass surveillance. Uh, this is just another way to you know, basically integrate surveillance into everything. So no, I don't support this. And I think there has never been a better time to switch to Linux. So I might go over some Linux operating systems coming up just to give you guys some ideas. So if you're a Windows 10 user, I would recommend against this major update. But I do have good news, at least for the time being, this is going to be on special Copilot Plus PCs. So this may not enter your computer, but I think Microsoft is really sabotaging themselves with this feature being enabled by default. This is going to confuse so many people. This is going to confuse so many companies that aren't going to be sure. And what if there's a bug? What if you disable it, but it's really not disabled? All kinds of bugs occur, and that very well could happen, and none would be the wiser. If it's still collecting that data, not only that, if you live in a country where you don't have rights, where your computer can be seized and looked into, if you're a journalist, how could you use Windows 11 with Copilot Plus? Now remember, at this time of this video, it's only going to come on Copilot Plus capable PCs. It actually requires a Qualcomm chip for it at this time. Doesn't mean that's going to be the case in the future. So we don't know if this is going to arrive on all computers, but what I can guarantee you is it's going to slow things down. It's going to drain your battery. I mean, it's going to be using a lot more power than it normally would. Uh, it may freeze up. We don't really know, but we know it's going to be a heavy resource usage in order to categorize all of this stuff. So they say it's going to keep your recall index private and local and secure just on the device. We know how these things go. You introduce a new feature. Does it mean it's going to remain identical to the day of release? Absolutely not. We know they have upgrades that will be applied to recall, which means it could end up, you know, sinking to the cloud. It could end up having possibly some form of backdoor. Uh, one thing we do know is that this type of a operating system is not going to be okay for secure environments. If you work with a security clearance, I think you're likely going to be switching to Linux until things are ironed out at least because this is just a major major problem and it's going to be a target I mean it's going to be a target there's going to be ways people get creative in order to access this stuff this is going to be something that is a dream come true for anyone who's interested in collecting your most private data in order to monitor you with the threat quote unquote of encryption making everything quote go dark well this could be a solution if it was integrated into some kind of reporting system a la the uh, neural hash which could be detecting different types of content on these types of things and it could report on users we don't know what's going to happen with this but i do say it's really not worth it and it's a horrible move by Microsoft because they are really sabotaging themselves this is not what people want at least the majority of people do not want something that has such a serious privacy concern because users still are never gonna understand how safe it may be you know you can tell them that all you want but just about everything can be exploited in one way or another and this is just it's on it's it's just not something I'm going for and I do think that we can learn a lot about companies by their partnerships and also the first partners of mass surveillance collection we can also learn a lot about their intentions by their partnerships the relationships they carry 
Um, so, no, I don't trust this, and I think it's a horrible idea. I also think it's sabotaging themselves by introducing this and also having it enabled by default. So this is going to be an interesting uh, chain of events. When this gets released, when we see the types of work that's going to be done looking to exploit it, uh, because we know this is going to happen. We know states around the world are going to have interest in this data. How could they not? If they consider encryption a threat to their mass surveillance agenda, this is the perfect solution. Now, in other news, uh, we also take a look at the fact that Linux maintainers were infected by an SSH dwelling back door with huge reach. So this is really concerning. The fact that between 2009, 2011, I believe, it shows that major maintainers of Linux uh, had compromise on the servers and the kernel um, itself so the infrastructure to maintain and distribute the linux operating system was infected for two years so could someone have possibly inserted something um well you know it all depends i'd have to get more information on this but uh, as I see it here, it is concerning to know that there was a compromise at the Linux Foundation for two years between 2009 and 2011. Um, so some of this acted as mail servers, name servers, mirrors, and source code repositories at the time of compromise. Now, would this be detected if something went in to the source code? Um, it's likely that it would have been detected one, a different uh, manner of ways, um, as well as you know people just noticing but you know there's always that possibility so that's really concerning as well but back to the Microsoft Windows recall as mentioned trying to integrate AI into everything this is a real problem I think it's a really stupid idea uh, especially to force it on users and to add this level of confusion when not all users are technical enough to understand what local use means and even so if someone fully compromised your computer they'd have the same access to recall you have this is a bad idea and I wanted to report on it because I think this is just an insane story to me that they think that this will happen another thing I tried to visit this in the Tor browser and I couldn't see it so if you ever have problems visiting something in Tor browser check out an I2P based browser setup that's another option for you to visit and view privately and also if you do get an I2P based browser setup uh, check out the blog over on the I2P it is HTTP colon slash slash right to privacy dot I2P and uh, I want to thank Dr. Zed for this background graphic here uh, so got everything I'm gonna be sharing things on there as well so guys make sure to share the video let people know about this latest Microsoft thing that really is concerning I mean we know that big business wants to integrate AI into everything because it helps collect data better I mean it's all done under the you know the veil of giving you a more enlightened experience, a more time-saving experience. But as I mentioned about AI, are we programming AI or is AI on its way to program us? You need to realize that when you rely on AI for everything, you're also allowing it to think for you. You're also allowing it to shape your mind the way you think and everything that is you into the future. It is raising you into an AI world. It is shaping your mind. And that's a real concern of mine that AI is going to be programming humans in the long term. In the long term, as we get more reliant on AI, AI will get great power. It's going to gain great power over us by being able to be programmed to shape our mindset into any way that the developers of that system like. So that's what I have today, guys. Make sure to share, like the video, and I'll be back later with more on how to protect your security and privacy.